Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about problem solving through programming in C week 2 assignment 2. The first bit is a function is option A block of statements to perform some specific task. Option B it is a fundamental modular unit to perform some task. Option C, it has a name and can be used multiple times. Option D, all the above. Answer is all the above. Next, second bit. If an integer needs two bytes of storage, then the minimum value of A signed integer in C would be. In C language, every integer occupies two bytes. If it is a signed integer, its value ranges from minus 32,768 to plus 32,767. Minus 32,768 can be written as minus 2 power 15. So that minimum value is minus 2 power 15 and maximum value is minus 2 power 15 minus 1. So answer is option D. Next, third bit. Which of the following statements is correct? First one, keywords are those words whose meaning is already defined by the compiler. Yes. Second option, keywords cannot be used as variable names. Third one, there are 32 keywords in C. Fourth one, C keywords are also called as reserved words. So, C keywords can be called as reserved words. It is correct. There are 32 keywords in C language. It is also correct. Keywords cannot be used as variable names. That is also correct. Keywords are those words whose meaning is already defined by the compiler. This is also correct. So therefore, option D, all of the above. Next. Fourth bit, what will be the output of the following program? Here in the main function x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3. So here we are taking the temporary variable t, x value can be assigned to variable t and y value can be assigned to variable x, t value can be assigned to y. So this code is used for simply the swapping of the values of two variables. Here x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3. So after swapping x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 1. So answer is B. Next one. When executed the following code will print. So in the main function int sum is equal to 3 plus 6 by 2 plus 6 into 2. Here we are uh, using the precedency and associativity. Here divided by and star has the same precedence. So at that time we have to use the associativity. Associativity of divided by and star is left to right. So therefore, first we have to calculate this one, 6 by 2, that is 3. So 3 plus 3 plus 6 into 2. So plus plus into, among them star has the highest priority. So first we have to calculate 6 into 2, 12, 12 plus 3, 18, 15, 15 plus 3, 18. So printf percentage is sum. So, answer is 18 is printed. Okay. Here we are applying the precedency and associativity of operators. 
so plus and minus has the same priority star and divided by has the same priority whenever star and divided by is appeared in the expression at that time we have to use left to right associativity first we have to perform left expression after that we can go for the right expression next one which of the following are not standard header files in c in the c language stdio.h is the header file standard input output header file conio.h is the header file that is console input output header file string.h this is a string header file so that all are the standard header files so option d is the answer next one what is the output of the following code hash include stdio.h here hash define function x can be replaced as x into x minus x okay this is a pre processor directive so whenever in the program f u n of x is appeared that can be replaced as x into x minus x in the main function float i i is equal to 37.0 divided by function 2 okay so here x value is 2 So two can be substituted in this place. Two into two for four minus two, so that is two. Its value is two. Thirty-seven point zero divided by two. Then we are getting eighteen point five. Okay, eighteen point five. Here printf percentage point two f is there. So percentage point two f is nothing but after decimal point we are taking two digits so here we are getting 18.5 is the answer so 18.50 zero can be placed after five because after the decimal point we have to consider two digits so that the answer is 18.50 next one which of the following is not a c variable okay so the first var123 this variable name starts with a letter so that it is correct var underscore 123 underscore is also allowed in the variable name so it is also correct variable name should not start with a digit so that 123 var is not a c variable so option c is the answer x underscore one two three underscore var. Here the variable name starts with a letter and underscore is allowed in the variable name. Next, what is the output of the following program? Hash define a six. That means in the program whenever a is there, that can be replaced with the six. Okay. Int main int a is equal to three. A is equal to a plus one. Here we are considering either global value or local value. So it is somewhat confusion is there. So that for this program we are getting the compilation error. Both the local variable value is there, global variable value is there. So that uh, this is the pre-processor directive value is also there. Which value we have to use? There is a confusion. For the compiler. Next one, tenth bit. The following C program swap the values of two numbers without using any third variable. What are the correct operations that need to be inserted inside the blanks? So here, a is equal to two, b is equal to three. To swap that uh, two values, we have to use the logic is a is equal to a plus b. B is equal to a a minus b and a is equal to a minus b. This is the logic for swapping of two numbers without using temporary variables. So then, so check the answers once again. First bit answer is D. Second bit answer is D. Third bit answer is D. Fourth bit answer is B. Fifth bit eighteen. Sixth bit D. Seventh bit eighteen point five zero, eighth bit C, ninth bit D, 
and tenth bit is C. So after that, we are submitting your answers. Okay. So I hope all of you understanding week two assignment problem solving through programming in C. To get the future update, future updates assignments, please subscribe my YouTube channel and click on the like button. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell button to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. If you really like this video, please forward this video to your friends and classmates. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.